a Charlottesville cop has approached to express his outrage at being advised to remain down by the city leader amid brutal conflicts between protesters. He additionally guarantees the challenges, which pitched racial oppressors against individuals from Antifa, were set up to assist the motivation of the elites. We, Charlottesville police, were requested to unite the adversary gatherings. When they were in contact with each other, we were advised to remain down. It was over the top. We weren't permitted to capture anybody without asking the chairman first. We weren't permitted to stop the driver as he hurried away. The occasion was being set up as far back as in any event may and it went predictably. Michael Siner, the chairman of Charlottesville, requested police to remain down amid the most disordered and ruinous time of the challenges in spite of police challenges the requests. We needed to carry out our occupation and keep the peace. However, these mother s in control truly need to obliterate America. Fox News journalist Doug Kelway was on the scene in Charlottesville and he goes down the cops' cases. I can state, have I been in Emancipation Park from at an opportune time that morning, that what I saw with my own two eyes affirms what this law authorization source let us know. In any event from all unmistakable appearances, we saw individuals leaving that stop who had head wounds, who were seeping from the head, individuals strolling into that stop with bats, with sticks, you saw what they were wearing, protective caps, body shield, they had come, and this relates to the two sides, they had come to do harm. You really want to see from that video that police had been all the more ace dynamic, they could have conceivably quieted this thing down to some degree. Michael Siner is a Virginia Democratic dissident with close connections to Barack Obama and John Podesta. Before finding the Charlottesville leader work he already worked intimately with Podesta at the Center of American Progress and worked with him again on Barack Obama's State Department transition team. The New World Order, drove in the United States by tip-top agents Obama, Podesta, Soros, Clinton and organization are making a special effort to make division through tumult and decimation. Hordes of paid protesters and helpful mental cases are being sent in to pitched fight against each other to sharp the inclination of the country and further separation all of us. They are controlling and controlling newsworthy occasions to keep up power and control over general society, and to swing popular assessment. Profound State Agents the man blamed for being a neo-Nazi and killing a lady by purposely crashing into her amid dissents in Charlottesville is in all actuality a supporter of Hillary Clinton and individual from Antifa in receipt of subsidizing by George Soros. Racial oppressor and join the right pioneer, Jason Kessler, has been uncovered as a supporter of previous President Obama and the a hardline individual from far-left Occupy development. At the point when did he change his political inclining? As per the Southern Poverty Law Center, an association that is absolutely no companion to conservatives, Kessler uncovered his political change around November 2016, that month Donald Trump won the presidential decision. In the event that you imagine that is suspicious, hold up until the point when you find out about alternate on-screen characters in this colossal setup occasion. Initially man on the scene. Brennan Gilmore was on the scene and was the creator of the main viral tweet about Charlottesville. He was later met by MSNBC. He was displayed as a coincidental witness. However, who is he truly? Gilmore worked in Africa as a State Department remote officer under Hillary Clinton. The New York Times specified this happenstance, and after that later erased it. Brennan Gilmore was likewise required with the Coney deception in 2012 and he is right now chief of staff for Tom Perry Alo, who is running for governor of Virginia and got $380,000 from George Soros. So the principal man on the scene, whose tweet turned into a web sensation, and who was later met on Standard News as a witness, coincidentally was a State Department insider with a long history of contribution in PSY operations. In the event that you think this isn't fishy, what about this? Since the Charlottesville challenges and his appearance in the media, his data was abruptly expelled from State Department sites. The elites know we are on to them, and they are endeavoring to cover their tracks. They can blue pencil Google and online networking and close down records, however, they will never have the capacity to stop us sharing data and addressing each other.